There's been a lot of talk about dystopias and apocalypses. They're everywhere. And to one extent, they do some real harm because they make everybody think that that's what the future is like. There are very few confident or optimistic views of the future. Yet if I had to choose, of course, I would choose that science fiction would make dire warnings. Because if you're poking at the future, the most important thing you can do is to poke where you're charging to see where the snake pits are, the quicksand pits, the landmines. And science fiction has done a very good job of exposing a lot of these to people's consciousness before we stepped on the landmine. But what's wrong with most 90% or more of today's dystopias and apocalypses is they don't try to warn about some specific failure mode that we can gird ourselves against. They're not trying to prevent something. They're just lazy. Because your number one job as a film director is to keep your hero in pulse-pounding jeopardy for 90 minutes. Usually it's how can I quickly get the body count as high as possible and so my hero and her sidekicks can have something really big to fight. That kind of dystopia, that type of post-apocalypse story is just harmful. It's just laziness.